My name is Steve Blake. My name is Melina. And we serve with Wycliffe Bible Translators in Papua New Guinea. Well, Papua New Guinea is about the size of California. There's over 800 different language groups in the country. 200 of those groups have the New Testament now. Another about 300 that have absolutely nothing, not even one verse. The translators are based out of Ukarumpa. This is the center. And then from the center, translators will go out into the villages and work with individual language groups to bring the word to them. So I teach music. I teach band and sometimes choir to the students here at Ukarumpa. And their parents, the students' parents, are translators and doing the other missionary work that's happening. So we provide education for their kids. So they don't have to worry about education. They can stay focused on what God has called them to do. We're here to support these families and care for their children. Some of our close friends, Matt and Christy Taylor, began the Nukna Bible translation over a decade ago. They started with devising an alphabet for the unwritten language and now have around half of the New Testament translated. If we're out on the ends of the earth, out in a village in the middle of nowhere translating, and we don't have the school here, it's going to be really hard for us to continue on in that ministry. And uh, because we have Steve and Melina here serving, we don't have to sacrifice the education of our kids. I am very blessed to be able to work with the youth ministry department. I started out with my girls when they were in seventh grade, and they are now in 11th grade. And it's been fun to see them grow in their maturity, in their desire to follow God. And I look forward to walking with them as they um, seek to follow God even beyond graduation. So these students didn't really have a choice in whether they were going to be missionaries. <laughs> their parents obeyed God's call, and because of that, the kids are part of it. So we call them missionary kids or MKs. They're great kids. We love working with them. The families are very supportive of what we do in the school. I'm, I feel really blessed to be able to give these kids an opportunity for music education. If I weren't here, they wouldn't be able to, to do that in the same way. The school has really passionate, caring teachers that came from like all over the world to teach without being paid, raising their own support. So it's inspired me to become a teacher who also cares for her students too. It's nice that when their parents are making that sacrifice of going to a third world country, it's not meaning that they have to sacrifice their kids' education. We've got students who have gone through a band program, kids who uh, are music majors, music minors. We've got one student who uh, got a full tuition scholarship to Berkeley School of Music, and he's uh, finishing up his time at Berkeley now. One of the sad things we see is people who come to the mission field and they pour themselves into the work, and after a couple years, when they're just starting to really have an impact, something comes up and they have to leave. And it may be some stress in the family or some situation where they just can't stay anymore. What we do uh, supporting the missionary families is one more thing that can help them be able to handle the stress, to be able to stay on the field longer. And when families stay on the field longer, we just their impact grows. Mm -hmm. When kids are cared for well, families can function well, and they can do the work that God calls them to do. When we come back from our time in the village, we're pretty wiped out. And to have friends like the Blakes and others here to be able to get together with, have fun, do Bible study with, and just sort of have them as a support is so important. And we can recharge our batteries and, and be ready to go out again the next time. We believe every person is loved by God. We praise God that the Nukna people can begin to read and listen to God's word in their own language. But we continue to pray for the many other people groups who are still waiting for any portion of scripture in their own language. As translators continue to bring God's word to places that have never had it before, we thank him for the opportunity to pour into the lives of students with his truth. Because when families function well, they're able to stay on the mission field, and they're able to stay focused on the work God has called them to do. Do you believe that each person is important in his eyes? What is God asking you to do in your neighborhood or at your school, in your workplace or around the world? To find out how you can be involved in the Bible translation movement, visit Wycliffe.org.